Live at Lunch is sponsored by the Music District, a music-centric gathering place to cultivate talents, support professional development, and encourage connections. Hi, I'm Denny LaRue, your host for Live at Lunch today here at KRFC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins right here in the Ginger and Baker studio. We've got the A.J. Fullerton Band, A.J. Fullerton and Band, in the studio. Let's hear from them. What was that tune, AJ? That's an old John Hurt song uh, called uh, Make Me a Pallet on Your Floor. Oh, wonderful. We're going to keep it going here for a minute before we start chatting, so I know you got another one all planned for us. I don't know if planned is the word to use, but... <laughs> Man. 
matter how far I go, I'll be thinking about you all the time. Oh, that's right. A.J. Fullerton and Band right here on KRFC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins, live at lunch. I'm Denny LaRue. Wow, that was great. And this is uh, the song you talked about being all around the world. You got your hometown on your mind. And we're going to talk about that because you have been around the world. I've I've been a couple places. (laughs) (laughs) Out in Canada, recording is what I'm thinking. But we'll talk about that. AJ, welcome to the studio once again. Thanks, AJ Jenny. Fullerton. And let's let's introduce these really talented musicians you got. Well, we got some we got some good dudes in the room right now. Uh, we got uh, Mr. McKay Belk on the pedal steel special guest today. Uh, we got Mr. Alex Goldberg playing the 1977 Black Fender Precision Bass. <laughs> cool. And we got just Ryan on the no, Ryan Elwood on the drums. <laughs> All right, and you guys sound great together. Um, I do want to mention that you're going to be down at New Belgium tonight for a concert. We are, a matter of fact, going to be playing down at New Belgium doing a pretty similar acoustic style, uh, acoustic root set. And that's kind of where you're at right now is is American roots, um, um, acoustic blues. You're, that's where your kind of focus is, right? Well, you know, it, it really depends on the show. Um, mm-hmm. I, I grew up just being a big fan of all kinds of music. I've been collecting CDs and vinyl since I was a little, little kid, and uh in that, I listen to a lot of classic rock, a lot of acoustic blues, a lot of electric music. I mean, really, it, it's a full spectrum kind of thing. But um, we just put out an acoustic EP, me and my buddy Jake Friel, and it's kind of had me in the mood for some acoustic guitar lately. And uh, you know, that's just something we're doing for a few shows, and we're actually going to do a full 360 when we got some shows with Samantha Fish coming up, and we're doing all electric band stuff. But yeah, right now and tonight, we're doing some acoustic acoustic music you know that's great because we've heard you do you know pretty straight blues and 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 then you know at the krfc event at the aggie last november you kind of rocked it up a bit it was fun and it was it was great (laughs) and so i mean it shows your versatility here which is wonderful and the new ep uh, just came out fullerton and frill and you said jake frill was down in memphis right yeah, he actually sends his regards. Jake is one of my best buddies. He's a fantastic vocalist and harmonica player from uh, the Cleveland area. 
but he's down in Memphis this week doing the International Blues Challenge. So that's great. He sends his best wishes. Great. Well, we'll chat some more. Um, I know you got more music coming out. Let's hear some more music. I'll tell you what. This uh, we're doing a few tracks off of the new record we just were working on in Canada. So this is actually like some world premiere territory. Yay. Um, and if you want to keep up with that, you can keep up with it. So this is a new track <laughs> called uh, Healing Takes Time. That's right. 
Healing Takes Time, A.J. Fullerton and band right here on KRFC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins. That um, is going to be on your new full-length album? It will, yeah. And when's that album going to be coming out, do you think? Well, you know, to not get too much into the nitty-gritty of how making and releasing a record works, <laughs> sometime this year. <laughs> okay, sounds good. It's still a little early on. There's, I'm hoping for spring, but there's a couple factors I have to account for. Yeah. Do you have a title yet? I do. Ah, can you share it? <laughs> I, I don't know if my producer would like me giving okay. away too much of the, the, the details, but right. I will say that uh, I'm really excited for this. I've been planning it for about three years since okay. uh, Cal Math came out. Well, and that's what I wanted to mention. I mean, you've got the new EP out right now, mm-hmm. Fullerton and Friel. Uh, it just came out in January. Um, we're still in January, as a matter of fact. All right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, just came out earlier this month. And um, Calamuth came out uh, a few years ago. And, man, you just really racked up the accolades for that one. <laughs> I'll tell you, um, ever since you've been performing as an artist, um, the Colorado Blues Society, Members' Choice Awards, IBC, um, on and on. I mean, you've gotten... You know, best guitarist, solo duo, best band, male vocals, sly guitar, songwriter, acoustic act, local recording for Klamath. Um, it, it's a it's a heavy weight going forward <laughs> for you. Right. There's a lot of opportunity for people to not like what I do now. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was so good. Well, and I, I can say, you know, uh, even the EP, but especially the the new Canada record, the yeah. Toronto project, it's. Similar in a couple ways, but I would say more so different mm-hmm. than anything compared to Calamath. So, you know, with any art you make, if you have success on, like, the first round, you kind of face a, a big looming wall of failure if, if you try and change it too much. But, it's you know, it's no fun to do the same thing again. Right. You, you have expectations in the one way, but, you know, the thing that you have going for you is so darn much talent. <laughs> that I think no comment <laughs> <laughs> yeah really how do you comment with that you know I have other questions but let's hear some more music and then we'll get back to that alright well I'll just say as another little spoiler the next yeah the next three the next two songs are all original off the new record okay oh, did I just lose signal there we go um, yeah so uh, this is another track off of the Canadian record a new uh, little preview this is a song called Could Have Been Mine
time A couple fools just falling in love now Baby, what a wonderful time What a wonderful time What a wonderful time So now, baby, I'm not gonna say that I miss you But I think about you time to time The only thing worse than saying goodbye, hon Could have been mine, oh, yeah, you could have been mine. A.J. Fullerton and Band on Live at Lunch, right here at KRFC 88.9 FM Radio, Fort Collins. A tune called Could Have Been Mine off the upcoming Canada Project. Yeah, we call it that for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Let's keep it going with another tune. Well, at risk of giving it away, um, I'm only doing as many songs off it because I think it's going to be about a 12 to 14 song record, something like that. I'm not totally sure yet, but... This is another track that I'm really excited about. I've had this one in my back pocket for a long time and just never recorded it. Mm-hmm. So this is a this is a song called Homesick. We're home, 
I'm going home And I don't want I don't want to be alone And I don't want I don't want to be alone And I don't want I don't want to be alone No, I don't A couple of tunes there, Homesick and Could Have Been Mine, from the upcoming full-length album from A.J. Fullerton. He's here today on Live at Lunch at KRC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins with his band. Uh, right now we've got in the room, I want to re-mention this another time, McKay Belt on pedal still. Hey, McKay. Yeah. Ryan Elwood on drums. Hey. And we got Alex Goldberg on bass. AJ, what great songs! You know, thank you. When I when I listen to you and talk about you, you're known for being a hardworking musician. I'll put it that way. Just doing a lot of traveling, a lot of shows. I, I was going to say I prefer the term working hardly. Working hardly, <laughs> but, but you're thank you. Yeah, yeah. People, I mean, you've traveled a lot for your work. So when you talk about homesick, you live here in Fort Collins. You grew up in Montrose. Do you think of of Montrose or or Fort Collins or what? You know, it's funny you ask that because they're really kind of both home. More, so, I mean, more so Fort Collins now since I've been here so many years. But, yeah. You know, my mom and dad still live back on the West Slope, and uh, you know, Fort Collins is as much home as anywhere, which is a really nice feeling in, in a lot of ways because we got KRC here, eighty-eight point nine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quick little shout out there. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's just such a wonderful community with with the Bohemian Foundation, the Music mm-hmm. District, and and just absolutely, you know, it's a really really swell place to live. <laughs> it is. I mean, it really is. I I couldn't agree with you more. And um, growing up in Montrose, you're not far from Telluride. Did you get over to the festivals there growing up at all? You know, I I lived a pretty secluded life in okay. Montrose. Like, okay. I want to say before I moved to the West Slope, I maybe only came out this way. Like to Denver, maybe like three or four times in my life. Well, over I mean, to the Eastern Plains. I mean, I could count on range. one hand how many times I I came to the Front Range, you know, or mm-hmm. and like, or at least that I remember, you know. Maybe yeah. When I was a baby, it might have been different, but and then I, you know, I came to the Fort Collins area for the first time when I was like eighteen or nineteen. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, and and yeah, to some degree, I went to Telluride and all that. But I think my first live music thing up there was like in like twenty ten or twenty eleven. Okay. I, was, I I didn't really do much. I was kind of a Montrose guy. I just lived there and tried to learn how to play guitar. And it's about twenty thousand now. You said Montrose. I, you know, don't quote don't quote me on the latest <laughs> census data, but I know that it's grown a lot since yeah. when I was growing I was up. Growing up. Those numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan's gonna fact check me later. <laughs> right. We're gonna fact check you. So tell me, um, growing up in Montrose, um, you know, where does your inspiration come from? What were your influences? Oh, uh, when did you pick up the guitar, or m- one of the many instruments that you're that you play? <laughs> guitar is the only one I claim publicly. Slide, uh, yeah. Slide guitar. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I um, take that in, in sequence. A lot of my influences growing up were, you know, on cassette tape, vinyl, my mm-hmm. parents' collection, basically. And then I started collecting since I was a little kid. But you know, if we're talking like live music, uh, I had a good buddy there named Rob Jones who taught me a lot about being a performer. Donnie Morales, who's a Fairly well known Colorado staple. I mean, a lot mm-hmm. of the guys in the mm-hmm. area, David Starlick mentioned. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, there's actually some really, really killer musicians kind of hiding out on the West Slope, yeah. and I had, I was very lucky that a lot of those guys sort of mentored me on a not so much like how to play guitar, but how to be a performer, how mm-hmm. to play a gig. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. a lot mm-hmm. of the stuff that you don't necessarily like have a little it's an art. little book for. You know? Yeah, yeah. So. That's so, a lot of that. And so when did you decide then that you were going to, you know, go for it and, and be a musician and make your living that way? Well, my it's kind of a funny story. My dad got me a guitar when I was about 15 because I was sort of slacking off and didn't have any other real solid hobbies. <laughs> he literally, I, I, He came home one day. He's like, hey, I got this for you. You should maybe, like, take it up or something. 
And being a rebellious teenager, I was like, no, dad, I don't want to play no stupid guitar. <laughs> and then it, like, I actually played it for like a week. I was like, oh, man, this is kind of cool. And then it went all downhill from there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you said, I like doing this. I like doing this. Yeah, and it's been like, I think, 10 years performing, yeah. maybe six of which full time. Wow. So we're going to talk more about that after some more music. We'll talk mm. about your upcoming European tour, all kinds of stuff. But, you know, great roots, uh, like you say, there's all kinds of great Western Slope musicians. And, yeah. you know, with Locally Sourced and Live at Lunch, we're getting to see a lot more of them come over here and play live on our air, which we just love. So, you know, pass it on for sure. Sure thing. Well, I think next we're going to play a song actually off of Calamath, which is going to be kind of cool. I don't know if we've ever had pedal steel on this, so it's going to be fun. Uh, this is a song called Smoke and Mirrors. <laughs> AJ Fullerton and band in the studio live at lunch right here at KRFC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins. I'm your host, 
Denny LaRue, and we're in the Ginger and Baker studio right here in Fort Collins. Let's continue with another song. All right, I'm going to do a, a song, just me and uh, McKay over here. This may or may not be on the new record, I've yet to decide, but it's a song that's very special to me. Um, to do a quick shout out to one of my heroes, influence wise, uh, there's a songwriter up in Canada named Paul Reddick. I think you actually have a few of his CDs here in the yeah. studio. I, I perused one day and was pleasantly surprised. Yes. But uh, Paul is one of my all-time heroes. As He's a, very much like a um, a poet, songwriter, vocalist, harmonica player. Mm -hmm. And he wrote this song with another hero of mine, a guy named Colin Linden, mm -hmm. who has a band called Blackie and the Rodeo Kings. But uh, there's a song off of, I believe, Villanelle, his, one of his records, and it's a song called Hooks in the Water. And it's always really spoken to me in a number of ways, and I decided... When I went to Canada for this record, I, I really wanted to maybe try and meet Paul. And um, we ended up actually cutting his song with him in the studio. Wow. So uh, I'm going to do a version of his, his song, Hooks in the Water. I can't find my life Hooks in the water And I can't find my life I know in my soul I'm running out of time My hooks in the water, baby Thinking that it might drown My hooks in the water, baby Thinking that it might drown Well, I keep on singing, babe Spinning all out Lift me up, brother man, I'm so lost in the sand I'm caught in the rock so far below In the life of the loom, or in the light of the moon Well, my hook's in the water and I got no place to go Coming on, baby, I feel like a castaway The night's coming on, I feel like a castaway Well, I sing my prayers, but I can't find the words to pray So lift me up, brother man I'm so lost in the sand And I'm caught in the rock so far below In the light for the loon, oh darling, in the light of the moon, my hook's in the water and I got no place to go. So there's gonna come a time when the river gonna rise up high. There's gonna come a time when the river gonna rise up high. And if I can swim, I'll find my way to fly. And if I can swim, I'll find my way to fly. A.J. Fullerton, giving it up for uh, Paul Reddick, one of the people you really admire, Hooks in the Water. And is that going to be on any release? or? If if I have my way, and in the, if the producer agrees, that may be on the new Canada record. And oh. Paul's on a couple tracks on the record, actually. We got him in the studio for a few days. and <laughs> That must have been great. He plays a very unique style of harmonica. It's very fluid, very melodic, uh -huh. usually a lot of delay. And uh, I, We coined a new term up there, actually. Whenever you're making whale noises with the harmonica, we, we call it harmon orca. Harmon orca. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So it's anyway. good. It's good. Um, so who did you play with up there? 
Oh man, well, uh, if I'm gonna give away some more secrets, I guess the producer is a guy named Steve Mariner. He has a band called Monkey Junk, which is uh, well yeah. known up in Canada. Uh, Let's see. The drummer, a uh, guy named Glenn Milcham, is the 30-year uh, drummer for a band called Blue Rodeo. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he's the yeah. drummer on the album. Uh, the bass player is a gal named Anna Ruddick. Uh, she toured with Paul for many years. She's the current touring bass player with City and Color. Um, and then, uh, I mean, a whole, whole cast of crew, really. Um, we got a couple of players uh, who tour with a guy named uh, Colin James. Who's a, another Canadian guy? A lot of Canadian folks up and there. And this you know? is all in the Toronto area. Yeah, we did a part of the session in Ottawa, but I would say really the bulk of the record was done uh, in a really cool part of Toronto. Well, and Blue Rodeo seems to hang in there every year. They kind of, you know, every couple of years they'll come out with another release, and uh, it's good. Yeah. Well, it was a really, really, really fun, fun to play time. with them. And so you guys, um, I was just going to say real quickly, um, McKay, Alex, and Ryan, you guys must play with a bunch of different bands in the area. Yeah. Y'all shaking your heads. I know, yeah. Ryan, you've been in before in KRFC. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have too. And Alex has. Yeah, we actually did it together. And McKay? <laughs> I uh, actually came in here with Ryan Dart, and AJ was playing guitar. Uh, um, that's how I met AJ. Yeah, between the four of us, I think we have a hand in most bands. In the area, you know. That always continues to amaze me, and it's it's so great because you guys, sometimes you need a certain instrument and a certain sound, and you've got such good talent to call on. It's great. Oh, it's a lot of fun, too. Yeah. Well, yeah, there you go. Harmonorca. <laughs> harmonorca. <laughs> what does uh, Jake Frill think of that? Oh, Jake is the king of harmonorca. <laughs> He, he can is. make whale noises even when without he's not playing. Yeah. <laughs> even without playing. So you're going to be at New Belgium Brewing Company tonight. Sure am. And then you're going to be down in Littleton on Saturday, it looks like. Jake's Brew House or something? Uh, yeah. I, you know, there's a couple places that I'll do solo gigs every once in a yeah. blue moon. We're doing that. I think, actually, McKay and I are doing a, a duo thing tomorrow morning down at Ophelia's. A little oh, brunch nice. gig. I, oh, be, cool. To be honest, I have a hard time keep, keeping track of all the gigs sometimes. But, you know, the exciting ones stand out. Uh, I'm really excited to do well, the, the run. The tour with Samantha Fish. Tell mm-hmm. us about that. You've you got four gigs coming up. Yeah, we're, we're playing the Oriental in Denver. We're playing, uh, let's see, the Mesa Theater in Junction. We're playing the Paradise Theater in Paonia and Club Red in Telluride. So yeah. we've we got all of our Colorado dates as opener, and that should be a fun time. And she's a fabulous artist as well. Oh, totally. So it'll be a fun show. You've played with her before. Um, I don't know if we've actually played together, but I, I've known her for a few years, you know, on and off at festivals and stuff. And that's what I'm know, thinking. Long story, but anyway, she, she's she's killing it, and it should be a fun time. Okay, so tell us uh, what's going to follow the European tour. Tell us about that. Well, you know, the year is still kind of developing, and a lot of it I can't quite talk about yet. It's that hard time of the year. More where, like, secrets. Yeah, more <laughs> secrets. We're a band of secrets here. Band all secrets. Mystery. All secrets amongst friends, right? If that's, you only knew. <laughs> Um, I mean, really, right now, just focusing on getting getting the record out, focusing on getting Fullerton and Friel it to, in people's hands. Brand new EP out, folks. Uh, Fullerton and Friel. Yeah, it's like a very very sleepy version of like Sunny Terry, you know. Huh. You know. <laughs> Sunny Terry and Brownie McGee. Yeah, so uh, just just really taking twenty twenty head on, you know, getting wow. started. Speaking of sleepy songs, now. <laughs> I know Mississippi John Hurt's a big person in your musical repertoire that you appreciate right and uh, north mississippi all-stars too oh, yeah well you know there's a lot of people that i would call influences lately i've actually been listening to a lot of uh phil cook uh mm-hmm. his golden messenger all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. um like even kind of venturing off in almost like indie rock mm-hmm. uh, almost quasi country territory i like a lot but really there's a lot of great music out there when yeah, i met taj mahal as a teenager he told me never to be like uh, too focused on one genre because there's so many good things out there. There, there is. And actually, yeah, this song we're about to play uh, is a John Hurt tune that I I was inspired to learn when I heard the Taj Mahal version of it. Cool. As a, as a great little segue there. Yeah. What is it? This is a song called Creole Bell.
my Creole bells. I love you well. Hey now, baby, my Creole bell, <laughs> my Creole bell. I love you well. Hey now, darling. Baby, then the town I told on shaker, baby, all the way down and Don't you know I'm satisfied It gonna bring you back Well, I'm satisfied, honey, tickle too Old enough to marry you Well, darling, you know I'm satisfied And it's gonna bring you back Satisfied and it's gonna bring you back. Nice version, Creo Bell. Yeah, I threw a little other thing in there too that caught me uh, in the moment. So yeah, <laughs> AJ Fullerton, right here at KRC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins. Big last question here: Festivals. You got any festivals coming up? I know you've done Telluride Blues and Brews, Bohemian, Durango Blues Train. You know, January is the absolute wrong time to talk about that. (laughs) Because most of the big festivals are just kind of starting to get their lineups right. in January. People are getting their apps in, applications. Right. And, and the worst part is, even if there is one or two, I can't talk about it yet. Nobody can see you secret. winking on the radio, <laughs> AJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's my winking translator over there on, on the drums. But, yeah, you know, a lot of the festivals, you can't you can't really disclose yeah. that until they put the lineup out. And I can neither confirm nor deny any. I asked him what we were having for lunch, and he said couldn't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Not always a secret, if I promise. <laughs> well, we will. I'm sure we will know before the festivals, and we will be able to announce it and say, "Hey, you can hear AJ Fullerton at." I sure hope so. You know, I, I don't I think you were on the gig, Alex. We got rained out at uh, at New West Fest I was. this last yeah, year. Yeah, that was a bummer. It was like maybe second song, it, oh. song in. They're like, "Yep, you're done." They're like, "But it's not raining that bad," you know, and. So if 
That's I've, one on my bucket list for maybe this fall. Yeah, I've experienced that a couple times at uh, Bohemian Nights. Just public safety thing. I love that yeah. festival, though. It's amazing. Oh, it's, it is amazing, yeah. yes. And we're very grateful. So we've got uh, another good song left. Uh, we want to thank Chrissy at the helm today um, in the thank tech you, studio. Thanks, Chrissy. And she's been assisted by Seth and Colton, Fredo, Andy, and Peyton. And, of course, we want to thank our executive producer, David Vasek. And if you want to appear on Live at Lunch, you can email David Vasek, who is our music director, at david at krfcfm.org. Thank you to our sponsor, the Music District, here in the heart of Fort Collins. And Live at Lunch is produced by KRFC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins in the Ginger and Baker studio. I'm Denny LaRue. Thanks to A.J. Fullerton. Thank, thank you, so you much, AJ. No. <laughs> Good to have you back in band. And of course, thanks to all your cohorts today, McKay, Ryan, and Alex. Accomplices. S- yeah. Uh, so we're going to head it right here. And you folks, if you only tuned in halfway through, we re air live at lunch on the following Thursday. And of course, it's always uh, available on our website. Now, 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 
sometimes I think I will, baby. Then my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind has changed. Oh yes it is. Oh yes it is. Oh yes it is. Everything. 